Okay, here are some of my feedback for question 1C. Please only listen to this video after you have looked at your own answers and you have compared it with the suggested answers in the slides. Okay, so in terms of general feedback, I think it's good that most of you show some knowledge of the ITCZ and its migration, so that is great. Right, uh, remember the question is about the position of the ITCZ over South America. Uh, South America is a continent, so you should focus on the position of ITCZ over the continent of South America. Many of you were able to say that the ITCZ follows the position of the overhead sun. Now, that is conceptually correct and it's great that you, br you brought it in, right? But you need to go on to explain why. Remember, this question is explain why, right? Five marks, levels marks. So, you need to go on to provide more details and explain why the ITCZ follows the overhead sun. Okay, so this also means that you need to know where the overhead sun is in the different months. Okay, so in March and September, the overhead sun is at the equator. In December and January, the overhead sun is at the Tropic of Capricorn, which is 23.5 degrees south. Okay, and then in June and July, the overhead sun is at the Tropic of Cancer, which is 23.5 degrees north. So you need to remember the positions of the overhead sun. Okay, and one last thing, always remember to give specific data support from the resources. So as you explain about the location of the ITCZ, you should cite the specific latitudes. Or if you talk about how the ITCZ is a low pressure zone, you should also provide the pressure readings which are shown in resources 1 and 2. Okay, so always remember to use data from the resources and be as specific as possible.